piece of armor you get from that is going to be for Yeah. I don't know about this chest piece though. It looks weird. I don't have it on, but. Yeah, I feel like. Neither have I. I'm gonna get him a warlock. Not by order of attacking him. I fucking love this shader. You gotta, you gotta look at this shader. Here, come here. All right, so, so look at me here. All right, you see me? All right. Now watch. That's sick. Any white piece on a piece of armor is automatically glow hood. Yep, it's beautiful. Like, I wonder what this looks like. Oh, yeah. change armor it has to load and it's pretty hard if someone's looking at it. I wonder if maybe I change my cloak. Oh that looks nice though. I like that. Oh yeah, I can miss you there. Usually that's black. Uh, let's try this. Oh, oh, oh. oh, the neck piece. Oh my god. This is my favorite cloak in the whole game. It's literally impossible to get it anymore. It's a pretty any DLC crucible cloak. Yep. You can't. Had to. It's crucible. You just had to buy it from the crucible master. He had it before any of the DLC dropped. It was just vanilla. Destiny, Crucible. Yep. Oh, I see. It, it, Here, let me change my shader so you can see how bad it looks.
How am I 31? Oh yeah, I forgot I upgraded one of the pieces of BRG armor. I need to do some bodies. I need to upgrade my new exotic helmet. I have to touch the thing barely. Surprisingly, I've got. There needs to be like a description on shaders. I don't know why there's not. So, there's this new Soul Rival, and I got it, like, really early. And, um, I kept messing with it until I got a really nice setup, because you can just keep... And I got glass half full, and then you know the upgrade that the Soros has? Where when you shoot, if you're aiming, it fires slower, but it does more damage. So, the last half full is the bottom half of the and causes additional damage, so technically you're just aiming and shooting. And I rolled it like probably seven times, and I saw that and I was like, okay, that's awesome. And I upgraded the thing, and so I have it, and last night I turned in a legendary Ingram, and it gave me the same exact weapon. Yeah. And I was like, wait, the, the, there's no way. And I, I just looked at it right now, and it's the exact same. Yep. Exact same. I guess I'll just dismantle this new one. Which is oh, okay. Yeah, I have, I have a friend, surprisingly, him and his mom grow weed in their uh, attic. Yeah, they, they work together to grow weed in their attic. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, 
I, I didn't put those photos. I do wonder what the hell it looks like. Because it's looking like scrap metal. The whole armor is looking like... It's looking like some Mad Max shit. Mad Max shit. Like all, all scrap metal and plate armor and stuff. It's probably going to happen, but not in Destiny 1. I think we're probably going to be going to like 37 or 38, maybe 36. And then that's it. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if they might just... Because this next one, people are saying that it's supposed to be like a brand new game. Kind of like how Riptide... I don't know if you ever played that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Riptide was technically like a DLC. It wasn't big enough to be its own game, even though it was, but it was small enough. It was like big enough to be its own game, but it was small enough to where it shouldn't have been. Kind of like Dragonborn DLC to Skyrim. The same size. It was just its own shit. It was, it was everything new weapons, new missions. Um. That's what they're saying that it's going to be like the equivalent of on Destiny. It's there are going to be new planets, new missions, new factions, everything. Like I mean, here we have two new areas, and that's it. We have the Reef, and then we have the Prison of Elders. Lighthouse, but that's yeah. Like, and so supposedly Comet or what some people, what some. Yeah, what some people are calling, like, the King DLC or something. I guess they changed the name. But it was called Comet before. Like, now it's called something else. But... It's almost like... If you were to take both the DLCs and then a couple planets and just throw it together, it's what it's going to be. It's just all of it again. Yeah. So... I'm thinking two levels might not be enough. They might bump it up to maybe 40. Because with what it sounds like, it sounds like it's just going to be all of it just over again. The full length. Because it's supposed to be, I think they said either a five year or a ten year contract. Uh, but. Yeah, Bungie with Activision making Destiny games, so it's probably going to be either a three. So they're going to be working on Destiny 1 for probably two or three years, and uh, then they're going to be working on Destiny 2, so it would make sense if they give themselves as much time as possible to keep working on 2 by releasing it one giant fucking DLC. So I wouldn't say 50 is that far-fetched, even though the expansion pass is only for the two DLC. It makes me think that buying the separate DLC would be kind of unfair to those people who like expansion passes, so there might just be a fourth one they have. Because, I mean, that would be technically next year.